Let's use coordinate vectors to check linear independence for polynomials. So consider this set of three polynomials in P3. So I'm looking at 1 plus 2t cubed, 2 plus t minus 3t cubed, minus t plus 2t squared minus t cubed. And I want to know, is that set linearly independent? So what I can do is first just choose a basis for P3. So I'm going to choose the standard basis, 1, t, t squared, t cubed. And so the idea now is you have to express each of these polynomials in terms of the basis. So 1 plus 2t cubed is 1 times 1 plus 0 times t plus 0 times t squared plus 2 times t cubed. So that means the b coordinate vector of 1 plus 2t cubed is 1, 0, 0, 2. Similarly, 2 plus t minus 3t cubed, I can grab, express it in terms of the basis and grab the coefficients, and I get that the b coordinate vector of that polynomial is 2, 1, 0, minus 3. And finally, minus t plus 2t squared minus t cubed, again I express it in terms of the basis 1t t squared and t cubed, and I see that the b-coordinate vector is 0, minus 1, 2, minus 1. And so now let me call these polynomials p1, p2, and p3, and the corresponding vectors v1, v2, and v3. And so the question, is the set p1, p2, p3 linearly independent? That has the same answer as the question, is v1, v2, v3 linearly independent? And the latter question is one that we can answer using row reduction. So let's write down our matrix where we stack uh, v1, v2, and v3 together. And we just want to check, does this matrix have a pivot in every column? And so we start our row reduction process. I can take R4, the fourth row, and replace it with the fourth row minus twice uh, the first row. And then I take R4 and replace it with R4 plus 7 times the second row. And finally, I take R4 and replace it with R4 plus 4 times the third row. And now at this point, I have uh, the matrix in echelon form. I can identify the pivot columns. I have one pivot in every column. All the columns are pivot columns. And so I know that these column vectors are linearly independent. v1, v2, v3 is linearly independent. And what that tells me is the polynomials, p1, p2, and p3. That set is linearly independent.